Director Mueller, the President has repeatedly claimed that your report found there was no obstruction and that it completely and totally exonerated him. But that is not what your report said, is it? Correct. That is not what the report said. And now reading from page two of volume two of your report that's on the screen, you wrote, quote, if we had confidence after a thorough investigation of the facts that the president clearly did not commit obstruction of justice, we would so state. Based on the facts and the applicable legal standards, however, we are unable to reach that judgment, close quote. Now, does that say there was no obstruction? No. In fact, you were actually unable to conclude the president did not commit obstruction of justice. Is that correct? Well, we, uh, uh, at the outset, uh, determined that we, uh, when it came to the, uh, the, the president's culpability, uh, we, needed to, uh, we, needed, we needed to go forward only after taking into account the OLC opinion that indicated that a president, a sitting president, cannot be uh, indicted. So the report did not conclude that he did not commit obstruction of justice. Is that correct? That is correct. And what about total exoneration? Did you actually totally exonerate the president? No. Now, in fact, your report expressly states that it does not exonerate the president. It does. And your investigation actually found, quote, multiple acts by the president that were capable of exerting undue influence over law enforcement investigations, including the Russian interference and obstruction investigations. Is that correct? Correct. Now, Director Mueller, can you explain in plain terms what that finding means so the American people can understand it? Well, uh, the finding indicates that uh, the president uh, was not, uh, that the president was not exculpated, uh, exculpated uh, for the acts that uh, he allegedly committed. In fact, you were talking about incidents, quote, in which the president sought to use his official power outside of usual channels, unquote, to exert undue influence over your investigations. Is that right? That's correct. Now, am I correct that on page seven of volume two of your report, you wrote, quote, the president became aware that his own conduct was being investigated in an obstruction of justice inquiry. At that point, the president engaged in a second phase of conduct involving public attacks on the investigation, non-public efforts to control it, and efforts in both public and private to encourage witnesses not to cooperate with the investigation, close quote. So President Trump's efforts to exert undue influence over your investigation intensified after the president became aware that he personally was being investigated? I stick with the language that you have in front of you. Which? Which okay. comes from page seven, volume two. Now, is it correct that if you concluded that the president committed the crime of obstruction, you could not publicly state that in your report or here today? Can you repeat the question, sir? Is it correct that if you had concluded that the president committed the crime of obstruction, you could not publicly state that in your report or here today? Well, I would say uh, you uh, I could. Uh, the statement would be the, the, that you would not indict, and you would not indict because uh, under the OLC opinion, uh, a sitting president, <coughs> excuse me, cannot be indicted, be unconstitutional. Okay. So you could not state that because of the OLC opinion, if that would have been your conclusion? O OLC opinion uh, uh, was some guide, yes. But under DOJ, under Department of Justice policy, the president could be prosecuted for obstruction of justice crimes after he leaves office, is correct? True. Thank you. Did any senior White House official refuse a request to be interviewed by you and your team? I don't believe so. President. Well, I take, uh, let me take that back. I, I would have to look at it, but I'm not certain that that was the case. Did the president refuse a request to be interviewed by you and your team? Yes. Yes. And is it true that you tried for more than a year to secure an interview with the president? Yes. And is it true that you and your team advised the president's lawyer that, quote, an interview with the president is vital to our investigation, close yes. quote? Yes. And is it true that you also St quote, stated that it is in the interest of the presidency and the public for an interview to take place, close quote? Yes. But the president still refused to sit for an interview by you or your team? True. True. 
And did you also ask him to provide written answers to questions on the 10 possible episodes of obstruction of justice crimes involving him? Yes. Did he provide any answers to a single question about whether he engaged in obstruction of justice crimes? I would have to check on that. I'm not certain. Director Mueller, we are grateful that you are here to explain your investigation and findings. Having reviewed your work, I believe anyone else who had engaged in the conduct described in your report would have been criminally prosecuted. Your work is vitally important to this committee and the American people because no one is above the law. 